Well, hello everyone. Now, a while ago, I did a video, and I did a video of this little motor right here, and I talked about how I could get more power out of, of it by increasing the voltage and increasing the frequency at the same time, so it would spin faster and maintain torque. Well, today, we're going to scale up that experiment. So, what you see right now is the 480 volt variable frequency drive and right there is a voltage doubler that I'm using to run it and we're going to crank up that motor right there and we're going to turn it all the way up to 400 Hertz now that's a two pole motor so at 400 Hertz it will be running right around 24,000 RPM so we're going to experiment with the motor and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about increasing the power output of induction motors after our experiment. So, stand by. Right, so this is our 5 horsepower, 3 phase motor. It's two poles, so that's normally rated at 3600 RPM at 60 Hertz. And this is uh, 240 volts. And so what we're going to do is apply 480 volts, but we're going to do it at 400 Hertz. So we should be getting a little more power out of it, but we're not really doing a load test. We're just doing a speed test, see how well it holds up to the high speeds. And I know you guys like to hear this, these motors going high speed, so I'll let you listen to it. You ready? All right, here it goes. So that was a two pole motor at 400 hertz. Now, if some of you out there are thinking, well, yeah, I see how that works, but what's really the point of it? Well, there actually is a point to all of this motor overclocking, if you will. See, in today's world, 
machines are always designed and engineered to be smaller and more efficient and cheaper and lighter. So when you want to have a lot of power, mechanical power, in a small space, you need a motor that turns at a high speed but has a relatively lower torque output. And that's exactly what happens when we increase the speed of a motor using a variable frequency drive. Now, it's the same basic concept that's used in most electric cars with AC motors, whether they be induction or synchronous or switch reluctance or brushless DC. The idea is to use a small motor that turns at a higher speed as opposed to a larger one, which turns at a slower speed. So it's pretty easy to see the attraction to high-speed motor technology with an electric vehicle, but with some of the other um, more household sort of applications, it might not make too much sense because, well, let's say an air conditioner, for example, it would be easy just to stick a regular motor in a compressor and switch it online and have it run, and that's true, but when you use a motor controller in conjunction with that, just as some of you may have seen in my earlier videos about my air conditioner, not only are you incorporating a high-speed motor to reduce weight and manufacturing costs, but you're also using a variable speed motor that can adjust according to the demand placed on the system. And this sort of technology is even starting to show up in things like uh, washing machines and uh, clothes dryers just because the speed can be varied and you can get a lot of power out of a relatively small motor. Now, the issues that come up with this, and I didn't mention this in my previous videos, are um, mainly due to the uh, bearings and the uh, rotor balance. And at high speeds, the bearings are really challenged because of lubrication and heat and things like that and the rotor needs to be the rotor and the motor needs to be balanced pretty well just because if not well it's pretty obvious the vibrations can get pretty severe now if you look closely at some of the cutaways of electric cars you can see that some high-speed motors actually have oil-cooled ball bearings which is pretty cool and there are also ceramic bearings that uh, can be bought and put on fitted to standard industrial motors. Well, that's it for today guys and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you learned something and if you have any comments or questions feel free to contact me and I'll see you guys soon.